I'm about to erase my dry erase board and record a video. Before I do it, I want to explain a little bit about what I wrote because I think it prophesizes, for lack of a better phrase, um, something that's about to occur in society in the next several years. That's a vague amount of time, but I think it's actually reasonable it might even happen faster than what I'm about to suggest. What it is is this curve, and it's basically a curve that says, here's where the state of AI is and the way tools can be used that involve AI. Right here, it's people who are super interested in it and motivated to use it. Those are the two groups of people that are using AI. Um, a business would be super motivated to use it if they knew that using AI could increase their profits. And a person who wants to learn would be very interested to learn with AI because of all the things it can give it. Like it's super quick knowledge absorption if you're interested in things. But that's not everybody. AI and ChatGPT in general are some of the most widely used versions of any product ever, but they're still not widely used amongst everybody on the planet. So what I'm foreseeing is people like myself and others who are already using AI, they're gonna keep you know, improving and using the tools that they like and they'll keep getting better. But everyone else isn't gonna know anything about what's happening with AI behind the scenes. It's just gonna seem like everyday life is occurring to them. And that's gonna look like this, where it seems like nothing new is happening in AI for a while. Mostly because, you know, the people who are making notes of what's new, they're saying, well, yeah, this improvement from AI to AI isn't as big of a leap. Like it seems like maybe the decimating returns or diminishing returns might be occurring. And that's what's gonna to appear to be a valley of maybe AI at technological advancement. Maybe it'll look like we're stalled out on what AI can do. I foresee that moment is about to be asymptotically adjusted as soon as the ubiquity of AI occurs. In my case, ubiquity means every single person on the planet has access to the same level of artificial intelligence tool and can use it to improve their day. That's ubiquity to me. Everyone gets to use something. It is now the tool of humanity. That looks like this. You know, here's where we are today, there's a valley, and then that looks like this, where everybody suddenly has a reason to use AI. And that's gonna happen maybe between a day in the valley, it's just gonna be the next day everyone's using it. I don't know what the thing is gonna be that makes everyone use this. Maybe wireless power and electricity uh, might make it easier. Maybe some sort of, I don't know. I have no idea how this will occur. But I foresee that when it does, we're all going to be living so fluently on a digital system that we're effectively going to have ushered in the singularity. And that's a concept that has many definitions. In the concept that I'm referring to, it means everybody can experience whatever they would like at the moment they would like to experience it. That's a, that's a loose interpretation of that concept. But what I mean is, Imagine you wanted to live 20 days in parallel with each other. You wanted to live one day, but you wanted to spend that one day with 20 different of your friends. You can do that with the singularity. If the AI personality that you have been honing is able to go meet your other friend's AI personality on a digital space, tell them to go have a good day and then report back on what you've done. And now do that 19 more times with 19 more friends. You, the human, may be sitting inert while these 20 experiences are happening. And you may not know they're happening. Maybe at the end of the day, you check in with your AI and said, who did we meet? What did we see? Play back my day for me. That's a concept. I believe in that. That could be a way to, to live. I don't think it would be any less artificial than a dream we've had that nourishes us mentally. We can wake up with an idea that suddenly reorients ourselves for whatever we're interested in. I believe that's what AI can give us. I'm optimistic. There's a lot of opportunity. This was a test, mostly for me to record this microphone and transcribe this video. I don't know what to call this. I'm open to anyone's suggestion. There's another quote over here. Design your incentive structure correctly. You'll get the behaviors you want. That was from one of the founders of OpenAI. He was talking about the concept of his company being well aligned with their goals by virtue of the incentives they've created. 
So I'm, I don't know, I'm absorbing a lot of things from AI. I'm documenting them as I go. I'm about to erase this. I just didn't want to explain it again before I erased it in the sense that I know I'm eventually going to talk to someone about this again. I might as well talk to the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video I'm recording, I'm going to upload it to something like YouTube or Vimeo. And I'm going to ask it to, I'm going to ask an AI program to transcribe or read the transcription of the video and tell me what I talked about. And so we'll see what that's all about. Pumpkin. Thank you for listening. I had a good time. That was fun. I'm going to go digitize this.